What's going on guys? This is my new desk setup. We're doing a full day of eating video today and I was just gonna take you through a little bit of like my morning routine, my productivity. So I got my blue blocker glasses on. They're a little crooked because Theo broke them one day. I wear these whenever the sun's down and I'm looking at a screen, it takes out the blue light. So it just kind of syncs up your circadian rhythm better because you, you don't really want your body thinking it's sunlight out when it's like 4 a.m. and you're doing work at your computer. And that is another thing. I've been waking up at like 4 a.m. It's, I've been going to bed earlier, but I have not been getting enough sleep, that's for sure. So my total sleep time last night was five hours and 30 minutes, which obviously is terrible. I have been doing this 30 minute nap at noon every day. It, it works pretty good for me, I like it. And really I've been trying to just like streamline my whole productivity thing. A lot of you guys probably hate when people talk about productivity, which I realized yesterday. I put a story on Instagram about like, what are your best productivity tips? And I feel like half the people are just like, they're over productivity and just like the hustle, you know, type of people on Instagram and stuff. But basically what I do and what has been working for me is two deep work blocks. I kind of got this from a guy named Lex Friedman who I've been listening to a lot. So I do one four hour block in the morning before Mega and Theo wake up after doing my, my exercise, which I usually do at like around 10. I'll come back, do a nap, and then I'll do like an afternoon deep work session, which you just kind of block everything out. I put on some like uh, instrumental music in my headphones and I just work for a long time. I don't know if you guys really care or know too much about like how we make money and what we actually do. So we have a food blog, ketoconnect.net. You guys can check it out. That's what I would call our real jobs. A lot of you think just like YouTube is our job. It's not really our job. The food blog. And when we first started it, it wasn't that competitive. Uh, it was pretty easy to like rank for keywords and stuff. And now it's really competitive because keto is so popular. We were like a little ahead of the curve. 2021 is what I'm calling Keto Connect 2.0. It's a business initiative. We're basically trying to stay competitive with these teams of people that basically are like publications, like healthline.com. You know, everything you search takes you to healthline.com. Ideally, we would be in the mix there. And what that's gonna require is content writers, better recipes, just a better community overall. So like this morning, I'm interviewing a couple like virtual assistants and stuff, food photographers, just like scaling up the operation. Yeah, so that's that's kind of what we're working on this year. What are you guys working on? 2021, big year. Look who's awake. <laughs> Someone's listening to ASAP Ferg. Yeah, I just put on a station. And we've got a walker here. You guys got plans today? Yeah, we're going to my friend's house for a play date. Theo won't let me touch Mega. Hey. Oh, hey. I want mama. No. Nurse. 16 months still breastfeeding. Like a boss. For breakfast, Theo is having two little breakfast sausages that he really loves. I get at Whole Foods. And then just a hard boiled egg that I made in the air fryer. Sometimes it's just a lot easier and he does love hard boiled eggs. So it's a nice change up from his typical buttered scrambled eggs. Mmm. Mm. See what happens here when I hug mama. <laughs> oh, hey, hey. It's like a wide lens. Yeah. Makes you look skinnier. The general you. You got it, bud. Come on, score, score, go, score. Go. Oh my God. We made it. We're gonna have brunch. So she lives in the city in, in an apartment. So we just rode the elevator. We just got here. Come say hi to Turkey. Get your kitty, get your kitty. Kitty. Turkey sausage, eggs, berries. It is 12.30. And we just left our play date. That was really, really long. Passed out. 
Okay guys, it's about 10 a.m. and I'm just gonna make a very standard breakfast. I probably make this like three days a week. So this is our good drawer we got. Usually I just look through here and see what kind of like bacon or sausage we have. I'll do four or five eggs. It'll probably be like a 1,000 to 1,200 calorie first meal. And then for cooking, I usually use uh, some kind of tallow. Like there's this bison tallow or beef tallow. Sometimes I'll use ghee. And if you want a cheap alternative, the best option is gonna be coconut oil. Those are really the three types of oils and fats that I use to cook. Today I'm just gonna use probably a tablespoon of bison tallow. So that's gonna be my full meal. It's like a tablespoon of tallow. I'm doing three sausages and I'm gonna go with four of these eggs. This is my finished breakfast. It's probably just a little over a thousand calories. So we just got back from brunch and our play date. It was really, really fun. We stayed there really long and Theo was definitely pushing his limits. So we just got home. It is 1.10. He went straight down from the car. He fell asleep right in the car and then I transitioned him easily. I want to do a quick run, short one on the treadmill. So I'm going to do that. But um, it has been a little while since we ate. So I'm having just a little bit of a snack. I'm hungry. So carnivore snacks, the pork loin is my favorite. And then they also have a ribeye that's super good. And I always watch a show right now. I'm watching a couple shows, but the one I like to watch on the treadmill is The Teacher. It's on Hulu. It's about like a teacher who has a relationship, an intimate relationship with one of her students. She goes to prison. And then I'm also watching The Undoing on HBO, which is super, super good. I'm hooked. I'm only three episodes in, but phenomenal if you're looking for shows. Because you're unbelievable. Why are you singing? Camera. Someone looks like a comfy mom today with her little bun. Cheese! Cheese! He doesn't normally say it that soft. Yeah, he's a very soft boy. I feel like the camera's not really his. You don't like it. Cheese. 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 We have a sponsor for today's video. Yay! This is actually Theo's favorite sponsor. It is Chomps. And I peeled the casing off of the meat sticks for him. Cheese. He munches on those. So these are grass-fed, grass-finished beef sticks. They got an array of flavors. I like to just stick with more of the classic ones, like they have a salt and pepper venison one. That one's good. And we do have a special offer for you guys, 20% off if you use the link down below. And it's free shipping, and you may have to enter the code KETOCONNECT at checkout. I think my favorite is their newest one, which is their Italian style. It's really surprisingly flavorful. It tastes kind of like pizza almost. Yeah. Good for a meat steak. I like to just stick with the salt and pepper, but yeah, these are really good. Can you find these in stores? Yeah. I think you can find them in stores sometimes too. Whole Foods, maybe Trader Joe's even. You gotta take cheese. off the casing. He wants cheese right now. Cheese. Cheese. 20% off, link down below. Check out Chomps. And we do have another surprise for you guys tonight. We are going to, in these, oh, Ju no! Julia's got the whole- You gotta be watching. Got the whole Julie snapped it. So in these trying times, there is a local business owner around here that has a barbecue establishment that we didn't know. We order from all the time. And it's last, our favorite now. It's our favorite. It's called Smitty's Lockdown. I say Schmitty's. Schmitty's. And we're going to get that for dinner tonight. Last time we went to pick it up, they wanted to get pictures with us, like one of the workers. Yeah. So they know us. Julius? Yeah, so they knew us. And then they said, oh yeah, my boss, the owner. Look, he's tempting. No. no. My boss, the owner, loves you guys. So we're gonna go there a little early. For some reason, no, no. I feel like she didn't buy the, like start the place. Yeah. I feel like she bought it. Cause she's Indian, right? Yeah. So the assumption <coughs> is that most barbecues are not run by Indian people, but who knows, it could be hers. Yeah. Seems like they bought it. I will ask her though. So I totally forgot we were vlogging, but I had a third of Theo's cheese stick. He never finishes his snacks and meals and I always like to eat the rest of it, but he still has some turkey and some cheese left. So he'll probably eat a good bit of this and then I might snack on the rest. Okay, you guys ready? We're going to Smitty's. Backstory is it's a place we go to all the time. Someone on our last vlog commented and they were like, oh, you guys should go to this really good barbecue place, Smitty's. And we were like, oh yeah, we love that place. And I'm not sure if the owner here knows us and watches our channel or if it's just her daughter or something that watches it. So it might be kind of weird but maybe we'll film, I don't know, but we got smoked wings. That's my fave. Pretty much everything's a good option, except the ribs usually has, you know, like sauce. a bunch of sauce on it. Why are you holding his foot like that? I don't know. Like a turkey leg. <laughs> I don't know if I got that. <laughs> Poor guy. Wow. So we're being taken out to the smoker. Oh, Whoa. Wow. So is this for tomorrow then? Yes. 
because it's going to have to smoke for 14 hours and then uh, they're going to put the brisket in just picked up Smitty's, met the whole family. I guess not the whole family, but two people. They're all working like three jobs. They got their own restaurant going. They're really hustling, you know? That's brown people though. Indian people just know how to work. Yeah, that is the vibe I got. Like it's really a family atmosphere. But we were talking with one of the daughters. She said she tried keto and common mistake a lot of people seem to make is People think you're supposed to be drinking like a gallon of water a day. This is like a bodybuilder thing. They carry the gallon of water around all the time. When you're drinking all that water, especially if you're just starting keto, you're flushing out the electrolytes. It's actually really bad for your hydration levels. So maybe drink like, some people say like, what, an ounce per pound of body weight or half, I would even say like half an ounce. Like you don't need too much water. Theo's, Theo's getting crazy. You don't need too much water. You probably need more electrolytes, less water most of the time. This is what I'm going to have. This is probably like nine wings or something. Looks pretty good. It looks like they smoke them and then maybe they like finish them on a grill or a flat top of some sort. Micah's got a salad going too with turkey on top. Yeah. Theo. No. Turkey? Mmm. <laughs> Okay, we're gonna eat dinner and then I will show you snacks because I have been having a Quest cookie every single night. I think I'm on like a two week streak now. Uh uh. That's my new two thing. Two months, babe. No, in two months? You know how many boxes I've bought? No, I don't know. At I guess. least a month, at least, easy. And for my salad, I used some of this dressing. I normally don't like ranch at all, but for some reason I really like this one. So tossed my salad in a bit, and then these are my wings and the leftover turkey I'm gonna give to Theo as well. Theo, bring this to mama. So Mega's having a Zevia. It's been like two months. Oh, really? But I... You shook it. You shook it. Chicken. Oh. He loves Zevia. Yeah. Just, if you show him your drink, you can't drink it without him harassing you for it. And then I'm going to have a Quest cookie for dessert. Keeping the streak alive. We're somewhere in the 30 plus days, I would say. Mega says 40 plus, but I think probably 30 plus. Okay, guys, that's going to do it for the night. Couple of big items. Number one, Bitcoin is at 21,300 as of right now. It could be wildly different when you watch this video. Long time hodler. I even had mega buy some when we first started dating. I had a lot. You didn't have that much, you had two. That's $43,000 right now. You sold it at, at the last peak. And I have a new YouTube channel. I'm not gonna tell you guys what it is yet because I wanna have more videos on it before people find it. But if you really search, I think maybe you could be able to find it. Business, investing, book reviews, building businesses. I said business Watch a Theo. lot. But yeah, that's gonna do it. That's our full day of eating. We are gonna have a challenge for the new year. So stay tuned for some of that info and thanks for watching.